Okay, we're at Target because I am gonna be renovating. <laughs> renovating, right? I still look like Jason Nash. <laughs> We are gonna be. Remember when I did a brand deal with Joy be Lab? Redecorating my yes, sad bedroom. ass bedroom. Yes. So let's get a duvet and a duvet cover. Look, that quilt is really pretty. I'm gonna let you decide or guide mainly. So I think blanket wise, this is like the perfect kind oh, of. Oh yeah, this is nice. Bed. Oh, but this is a bed throw. Oh, but I don't want a bed no, throw. No, because you need it to be big to yeah, have that like right. feel. It's okay. Let's go around. Did you get the lamps in? You didn't order them. You didn't order them? I thought we were literally on the phone. You didn't order them? What I'm you in order trouble. Them? <gasps> Oh, princess. Princess. Oh, shut up. She's Wait, a is this because she wants butt scratches? <laughs> yeah. She quite literally turned around. Hi, princess. This could tie in like the green of the chair kind of way. Yeah, I like that. I also really like this. This like terracotta. It's really yeah. nice. And I feel like that ties in. You have like that orange. With the vibe. warmth. Oh, they have a king one. Oh my god. What's our budgie? I don't Shopping oh, with Liana is, is so fun because she just. She just has her shit together, you know? Like, she put this stuff in the cart because she wanted it to fit nicely. What is she doing? I don't know. So we're swapping. And I'm getting more bang for my buck, too. Then the oh, question, okay. though, is... Because this comes with the shams. Yeah, am I supposed to put something over this? No, so it comes. So, no, these are, like, the, the two small... Decorative. ...that it comes with. Okay. the question is... Where did the little the thing go? And then do you want to do... One two more. of these, because then actually it could be perfect where you do two of these, and then a decorative pillow that can sit like in front. I like that. The thing that I would rather do is instead of it being all orange, have some. Oh. <laughs> actually, let me do this. Oh god. Not the flat iron, but the one that's like um. Yeah. We're just gonna bend my greenies. Yes. What you're talking about. No, 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 I said don't take my screws, Verm. Verm, I need the screws. Don't take my screws, okay? No, I see your call. Vermi, don't take my screws. You sit on that box and you sit. So we are um, finally doing our bedroom. I never, ever, ever did a tour. You're not gonna let a girl know? <laughs> what? I was just supposed to accept that. I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> And it's funny because you do that classic influencer voice. Yeah, Stop! What the fun. fuck is that? You haven't seen the TikTok where people talk about the influencer voice? No. Where it's like, so! It's like such a specific tone. I have not done a full apartment tour of this place. It's actually the first place I've moved to where I haven't done an apartment tour. I did an unfurnished, kind of, when I was like still trying to decide on the apartment, but I never did a fully furnished. And it's honestly because this place has just not been complete. And so I finally tapped Liana in. I feel like I need to explain. Okay, Liana and I have known each other for six years and she is my manager. But over the years, her and I just got very, very close. So I talk about her in only, you're, I almost have I never been in a video? video? No. Oh. Never. Hi, people. She's also like my best friend as well. And so it's interesting because here she is, you know? You guys have never seen her and now here she is. So the person whose name you always hear here she is. Look, is this supposed to be me? Yeah, smile. <laughs> Why is he on the phone? Oh, he got oh if you have questions, he you can call him. I've never looked at IKEA instructions before, and they right. actually made- Oh, because I would hire people to build my IKEA for <laughs> This looks like a pizza box. Oh, okay, so this is the first step. Wait, where's my- you're just gonna cover my <laughs> paper? Oh, you're mixing up your shit with my shit. <laughs> I'm so- I'm so fucked. I don't. Okay. All right. You want to build something else? Like, is this going to be a problem? I can do this. I can do this. Oh! Oh! It's so cute. It's so cute. One done. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right? Oh my god! This is so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Comfy! Is it? Yeah! <gasps> put a little sock Wait, on. Wait, you can just like too? chill in here too? Okay, we're cleaning as we're going. I love it. People, I love it. That's a little cutie. Oh, it looks so good. Come here! This one's a chair. 
All right, this is relatively embarrassing, but this is the bedroom, okay? This is why I have not showed you guys because it's just honestly not a space that I think even deserves to be shown. It's so sad. So this is what we're gonna be switching up. We're just gonna start all that now and I'll show you guys the after. This is the room after. That is Vermicelli's toy down there, but look at the chair, it's so cute. Dresser, plants. This is stuff that was in Ryan's nightstand that he will need to go through at some point. And honestly, it'll likely never happen, but that's fine. Got the mirror set up. So cute. I actually filmed like a little get ready with me here yesterday on TikTok. But we've got my perfumes on this side, Ryan's and then little earrings. That is our air purifier. And then this is Ryan's side of the bed. This is a pillow. We both like to have a lumbar pillow to sleep with at night, but this is his nightstand. I got these lights on Amazon. They're so cute. The lights that we got from Target were just a little bit too white. I wanted like something that was a little bit softer. And look at the bed. So pretty. And this is my side. My little book ceramic vase. My iPad, my diary, the books that I'm reading, and just like random knickknacks. And then Prince likes to sleep in the bed next to me, and then he eventually will beg to join me in bed. Hi, did you follow me up here? Hi, puppy. So while the room is not completely done yet, I think I want to like put some sort of art above the bed. We might do like a little carpet here to break up the bed from the actual carpet. I need to do some type of decor on this dresser. Maybe something here, some type of art here. That's it for now. This change has made me wake up so motivated and so inspired to start my day. I know the importance of investing in your space and, you know, making a space that you feel good in, especially because I work from home. Like it should have been a priority for me for a long time. I'll invest in everything when it comes to my clothes and my food and my dogs and my cat and my boyfriend. But when it comes to my space, I struggle. I actually remember when I was making like crazy money back in my Gymshark days at the apartment that that I lived in I would actually hire somebody to help me interior decorate because I don't know I just get really bad decision paralysis and like in my head at that time I was like oh everything needs to be from West Elm CB2 but like we did this whole room on a $300 budget and now if anything like influencing and getting stuff sent to you unless you were like a mom that did like a decorating blog or something you weren't getting stuff sent to you but now it's a lot easier the reason I'm saying that is because Brooklinen is gifting me new bedding, like a new duvet and sheets and jams and all that stuff. So it'd be huge. So this bedding is just like one of those comforter sets that you can get at Target. It was like 70 bucks, but I was so desperate to get rid of our queen duvet. We ended up giving it to Ryan's mom and now she has a little setup. Are you listening to me? You are just, Duke, I was having a moment with Prince. No, you're both so cute. Even something small, like we had all of our phones charging from this outlet, but we got two extension cords back here so that I could have my own and Ryan could have his own and we can easily plug in our lights. It's these little things that most people would do, but I'm not most people. I don't know what it is, but Liana quite literally changed my life. We did that entire bedroom on a $300 budget. It wasn't even really the budget, it was just like, Hey, let's do this. Let's just not spend a lot of money. The chair was from Ikea. That was like 60 bucks. The bedding was 70. Well, it was pretty expensive. That was like $80. I don't know, but all in all, it was $300 and it was the best decision I ever made. Oh, and that Ikea mirror, that was really cheap too. So invest in your space. You can do these things on a budget and you can still make it look elevated and expensive or cheap. Good morning! Ignore the mess behind me. Um, we renovated my bedroom as you saw. I don't know how much of it recorded, but it's a beautiful day. Actually, after so much ugly weather in LA. But I'm about to take these dogs out for a walk. Oh my gosh, actually no I'm not. Hold on. I have a meeting with Amika. <laughs> I have no idea what I was about to say. 
The time is officially 10.35. I did get a little bit of a later start to my morning, but here's my plan for today. I'm gonna walk you through what we've got going on. Okay, I had a brief call with a brand. Now I need to make myself some breakfast and have my meds and vitamins, meds aka my antidepressants, and then I'm gonna take my multivitamin. I'm going to make myself some breakfast, maybe have a cup of coffee, then I have to edit a video, and then I would like to go to the gym. That's like the lineup right now, okay? I've got my glass of water. This is my little pouch of my morning goodies. If I don't have it in something cute on my kitchen counter, then I don't know, I might forget. I, I've never tried it any other way, so this is just the way it goes. First, we'll take my SSRI. Meds taken. so good i like that i didn't even know they make body wash can you believe people buy that shit and i was like <laughs> i was like yeah that's fucked up Ooh. time is I had a realization when I was talking to Ryan this is gonna be such a long-winded response but basically actually let me just summarize it when I was a little girl my mom primarily had me cleaning the bathroom and helping with laundry like I'm really good at folding laundry helping clean the toilet all those things and I feel like after she passed away I basically uh, when I tell you I hard stopped doing anything, if laundry was clean that day, I was folding it that day and it was getting put away. When I moved in with my aunt, which was a couple months after my mom died, I completely stopped folding my laundry. I would leave it for days on end. I didn't like to clean the bathroom. All those things stopped. And this is literally the first time in what, 11, 12 years that I'm realizing that I actually loved cleaning, loved it. Uh, but I think that that I, it was something that I strongly associated with her. Like even as I was scrubbing the toilet, it was just reminding me of being whatever, 12 years old, scrubbing the toilet. And I was like, oh, I remember how satisfying this was and seeing the, you know, the little cotton linen. Do you get what I'm saying? I just realized that. And so I think I just needed to realize that that was the association. Otherwise I was gonna continue to just be weirdly defensive about cleaning these areas because I'm like, no, I don't have to clean this. I don't want you. Can I just hire someone? That sounded terrible, but it, you know, I had enough money to do it. So, but yeah, there you go. Okay. Bye. This nozzle definitely broke. That's such a bummer. to get my nails done. It is the next day. I had such a busy day yesterday. Like I 
literally feel like work is starting to pick up because I'm also just working harder and like have legitimate goals for this year. And so with that, I'm just working harder. I like, well, I think I kept it in the video already, but I like unpacked a trauma. I'm like realizing that my whole life, at least this year, I think is gonna be about learning the ways that I have been coping as like a trauma response. Does that make sense? Like coping mechanisms due to trauma and me trying to unlearn those habits, such as me with cleaning. Like I didn't realize how much I loved cleaning bathrooms and folding laundry and all that because that was something that like I heavily associated as a day that I would have with my mom. It would be like she'd be doing X, Y, and Z. I was deep cleaning the bathrooms. I was folding the laundry. I was swapping out the loads and putting the quarters in. Like that was my job. And I swear the moment she passed away, I just let all of that go. Look, one thing I have to accept if I'm gonna be open with this trauma journey is just kind of how spoiled I'm gonna sound because I had the means to be spoiled. The second I could hire a maid and have somebody come and clean the house for me, I was doing it. And that was essentially the moment I started living on my own. When I was living at my aunt's, it was a genuine problem where I wouldn't fold my clothes and put them away, even though I'm so good at it. I am so good at folding my clothes and putting them away. I'm, I'm better than most people because I am strategic. I'm methodical, but I'm telling you, I just, I, I like created this weird brewing resentment where I, I convinced myself that I hate cleaning. And then last night, like I had the proper cleaning materials and I went to town on both my bathrooms last night. Scrubbed the entire toilets, scrubbed the floors, uh, scrubbed the counters, like, you know, just things that people have to do things that I once did and it was really uh, soothing. Like I actually really enjoyed myself and I hopefully have created a new, I don't know. I'm hopefully creating a new habit, setting myself up for success by doing it myself. I also deal with like extreme decision paralysis, like to the point where I was Googling how to clean your bathroom, even though I know how. And then I was seeing all these different videos and I was getting overwhelmed. It is really embarrassing to be talking about this because I just know some people are gonna be like, you don't, you don't know how to clean? No, I do. There's a lot about me that you don't know. And one of it is that I have decision fatigue and decision paralysis really bad to the point where I just won't do it, you know? So anyway, that was really nice. But I, I was so tired after and I had worked all day on editing and creating content and I had like my Zoom call and I went to the gym. It was just a really good day. Anyway, plan for today. I'm driving right now to go get my nails done. I go to this girl who's like 30 minutes away from me and she's so good and my nails definitely need it. <clears throat> and then I am gonna get my car washed because the interior has needed to be cleaned for so long. My apartment complex actually offers to have your place get cleaned for you. Like somebody comes once a week and they'll clean all the cars in the parking garage where you have to like pay for the package. And the regular cleaning, I have them come every three to four weeks and it's like 25 bucks. But for me to add on an interior clean, it was $38, almost $70. No, yeah, $70 after tip. That's ridiculous. And these times, <laughs> we're loud budgeting this year, baby. There is no shame. We are loud budgeting. Go to this car wash that I actually used to go to all the time in Studio City since I'll already be out that way. Get my car washed. It's looking a little crusty, dusty, musty in here. And then I'm gonna meet up with Jazz. We're gonna get some lunch and maybe some matcha. And then we're gonna meet up with Franny. And we're gonna have a little girls day for a couple of hours, just hang out, hang out catch up, shoot the shit, all that stuff. And somewhere in between, I need to find the time to work, which I'll probably do that while my car is at the wash. So that's what's going on. And then tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Ah, they are so pretty. We didn't have time to do like a French chip the way I wanted. These are gonna do just fine. I'm also starving. It's 12 o'clock and I've had nothing to eat. 